I don't want to confuse anyone or cause any trouble, so wife now wife, it's there. Ivanka Trump, who is the daughter of Donald Trump's marriage to the late Ivana Trump, has become famous after making a big statement. It was like a time bomb went off when this news came out, and the media was filled with rumors, ideas, views, criticism, and guesses. What did she actually say that made so many people respond so strongly? Why did this news come out? What did she want to achieve by making this announcement? What did all of these things do to her father, Donald? You must be really excited to find out everything about this sudden news. So have a seat and a glass of wine while we go on this trip. Born and taught Ivanka's cry was heard in a New York City hospital on the 13th day of October 1981. She is the second child and first daughter of Donald Trump and Ivana Trump, who died in Trump, who died in 2017. Donald, her father, loved her from the time she was born because she looked a lot like his late wife. So, he gave her the name Ivanka, which is a shortened form of her mother's name Ivana. She has two brothers by birth named Donald Jr. and Eric and two step-siblings named Tiffany and Baron. People think that Ivanka was born with a silver spoon in her mouth, and who wouldn't? As a child, she grew up with loving people who cared about her and met her needs. Ivanka went to the Chapin School and Christchurch School in Manhattan until she was 15. After that, she went to Choate Rosemary Hall in Wallingford, Connecticut. She began posing on the weekends and holidays while she was in high school and going to boarding school. People started to wonder why she had to go to school and be a model at the same time. Ivanka's late mother made it clear that she did not go for any modeling jobs while she was in school. She said she didn't become a model for the money, but because Ivanka loved modeling from a young age. Because of this, she let her daughter follow her goals without letting them get in the way of her education, saying that modeling was Ivanka's part-time job. She was on the cover of Seventeen in May 1997, which had a story about famous moms and kids. Donald, her dad, loved her so much that he took time out of his busy routine to go to her show. He couldn't help but yell from the front row, that's my daughter, when she walked the stage as a fashion model. A lot of women's fashion magazines like Vogue, Merclair, Elle Glamour, Harper's Bazaar, Forbes, Forbes Life, Golf Digest, Elle Decor Shape, Town and Country, and Stuff Magazine wrote about her. Ivanka graduated from Kajodi High School in 2000 and went to Georgetown University for two years before transferring to the University of Pennsylvania. In 2004, she earned a bachelor's degree in economics and finished with honors. When Latin awards are used, they are almost always given to first-year college students who already have a bachelor's degree and almost never to graduate students getting their master's or doctorate, except for law school grads. The award is usually written on the diploma. Watch this video to learn everything you need to know about her love life. Love life Ivanka wasn't big on the media, but because she is the daughter of a former president, everyone in the know was watching everything she did. This made it easy for people who didn't know her personally to get detailed information about her life from the time she was a kid. She met and fell in love with Greg Hirsch while she was in college. Hirsch is now a financial expert and business owner. They started dating after meeting in college. She loved him deeply at first, but they broke up after meeting for three years and a few months, so they never got married. James Gibbelman, better known as Bingo James, is a film and music producer and socialite from a rich family. She met him. Eric Ivanka's brother was happy that his sister was finally marrying the love of her life, but the marriage did not last as long as planned. After going out for three years, they broke up. Ivanka's business partner set up a networking lunch in 2007 where Jared Kushner met her. He thought the two could make business deals together. They started dating right away, but Ivanka said their relationship was slow. However, there was a small problem with their relationship, and they broke up the next year. What was going on? She said that Ivanka's religious past made Kushner's parents dislike her. Even though they broke up in 2008, Kushner had two problems at the same time. The first was a problem in his relationship. And the second was a crash in his real estate business that hurt his finances and forced him to sell a controlling stake in retail footage to the Carlisle Group and Stanley Chera and give Vornado Realty Trust a gift percent equity partner in the ownership of the building. Jared and Ivanka's friendship was making her nervous and she wanted things to get better between them. She joined a wealthy Jewish family and changed her name to Yal in Hebrew. Because she changed her belief out of love, Jared's parents agreed with their relationship, which made it possible for their son and Ivanka to get back together. After she became Jewish, Kushner wanted to take their relationship to the next level, so he asked her to marry him with a beautiful 5.22 do-carat cushion-cut diamond ring. Ivanka's best day was today, even though she almost gave up on her romance. After a long wait, the couple finally got married in October 2009 in a Jewish service at the Trump National Golf Club in New Jersey. More than 500 people were there. Arabella Rose, Joseph Frederick, and Theodore James were their three children. 
Ivanka talked with a doctor about it on the Dr. Oz show, that she had postpartum depression after all of her children. Postpartum depression is a mood disease that can happen to both men and women after giving birth. Extreme sadness, anger, anxiety, depression, changes in eating and sleeping habits, crying fits, and low energy are some of the things that can happen. Experts have also found that this kind of sadness can hurt the baby that is just born. They lived in an upper-level apartment on Trump Park Avenue in the Upper East Side area of New York City. Jared said that Ivanka had never cooked before they got married, but now she is a great cook and makes dinner every Friday for Shabbos, which is the Jewish Sabbath. Just before Donald Trump won the election, Jared and Ivanka also went on a pilgrimage to the grave of the Lubitscher Rebbe, which is a famous place to pray. Some people think that this journey led to Donald's victory and that God chose him to be president. In May 2017, the couple went with Trump on his first trip as president to Israel. Trump became the first president in U.S. history to visit the Western Wall as part of his trip to Israel. Since her dad was involved in politics, did she try to join him? Check back to find out. Job and getting involved in politics, Ivanka Trump had already made a name for herself when she started modeling when she was a teenager. In 2007 and 2008, she was on Vanity Fair's yearly list of the best dressed women in the world. She worked as a model, ran a real estate business, was on TV shows, and was in politics. Because of this, I really wanted to make a brand that celebrated the fact that women are complex. While she was still in school, Ivanka worked for Forest City Ratner for a short time as the executive vice president of development and acquisitions for the Trump Organization. She was in charge of growing the company's real estate holdings both in the United States and around the world. Ivanka filled in for Carolyn Kepcher on five shows of the fifth season of her dad's TV show, The Apprentice. In week two, she helped judge the galette task. Like Kepcher, Trump went to the job site and talked to the team. Then, during the sixth season of The Apprentice in Celebrity Apprentice, she took Kepcher's place as a main office judge. She also worked with season Yazbek on the Trump Soho Hotel condominium, which was his winner's project. In 2012, she was in charge of the General Service Administration's RFQ, which led to the Trump Organization's final choice to develop the historic old post office in Washington, D.C. Once this was made, she managed the $200 million transformation of the historic building into a luxury hotel, which opened to the public in 2016. Years later, her love of fashion and jewelry led her to start selling lines of jewelry, shoes, and clothes that were written about in magazines. In addition to her family's real estate business, she had her own line of fashion items called Ivanka Trump. These included beautiful clothes, handbags, shoes, and accessories that could be bought in Macy's and Hudson's Bay in the United States and Canada. Later, she worked with Dynamic Diamond Corporative to make jewelry for Ivanka Trump, her first main store in Manhattan, where she sold a line of diamond and gold jewelry. Her main store moved from Madison Avenue to 109 Mercer Street, which is a bigger space in the Soho neighborhood. In the end, her business made more than $500 million a year, and famous people like Jennifer Lopez and Rihanna were seen wearing jewelry from her line. The brand was named Launch of the Year in the End, in 2010, by Footwear News, Ivanka tried to get 36 trademarks in China from March to July 2016. Seven were accepted between the inauguration of her father and the visit of the Chinese president to the United States. While the two leaders were having dinner with their families at Mar-a-Lago, three provisional trademarks for handbags, jewelry, and spa services were given out. In 2016, Ivanka's fashion business was doing well, but in 2017, it was having some problems. Ivanka's clothing line didn't sell well, so Neiman Marcus, Nordstrom, and other stores got rid of it. Three members of China Labor Watch were arrested in China while they were looking into a business that makes shoes for American brands, such as Ivanka's. This had an effect on her clothing line, so Ivanka told everyone in July 2018 that she was closing her business. After that, she moved to D.C. To work as a top advisor for her father in the White House, she had to leave her job at the Trump Organization behind. During the time her father was president, she went from being a liberal to a strong pro-life Republican.In 2016. At the Republican National Convention, she said, Like many of my fellow millennials, I don't think of myself as either clearly Republican or Democratic. Then, in 2018, she switched her party membership in New York from Democratic to Republican. Ivanka Trump was also a writer, which is interesting. The Trump card and women who work, involvement and charity, are the names of two books she wrote. Most people think that Ivanka Trump did nice things because her father used her to get famous in politics thanks to her. Was this real, or did Ivanka do charitable work for her own reasons? In 2010, Ivanka helped start Girl Up with the United Nations Foundation. In her speech, she said that Girl Up is an organization run by Girls for Girls, and its goal is to inspire American girls to be global change agents. 
She also said that she was proud to be working with Girl Up and other women in the country to make sure that all girl children had the tools they needed to be educated, healthy, counted, and ready to become the next generation of leaders. Ivanka was also on the board of the Donald J. Trump Foundation until it was disbanded because New York Attorney General Barbara Underwood sued the foundation in civil court for persistently breaking the law with its money. After that, in November 2019, her dad, Donald, was told to pay a $2 million fine for abusing the foundation for his own business and political gain. As part of the deal, Ivanka, Donald Jr., and Eric were also required to go through training. Ivanka got involved with many Jewish organizations like Chai Lifeline after she became a Jew. This charity helps take care of kids with cancer. Her father also gave $1 million to the United Hatzalah for the Israeli Emergency Rescue Service in their name. Ivanka gave the National Urban League and the Boys and Girls Clubs of America the unpaid half of the advance payments for her book, Women Who Work Rewriting the Rules for Success, after she was named Senior Advisor to the President. She also said that any royalties that were more than the advances would be given to charity. In December 2022, Ivanka did even more good things for other people. In Ukraine, where city serves as partner churches that don't have power, she bought generators for them. In the same year, she organized five cargo planes full of needed medical supplies for Ukraine with help from the First Lady of Poland. The goods included patient monitors, nebulizers, bandages, defibrillators, and first aid kits. What hard work did Ivanka put into helping her father become president? Besides that, what big news did she make? Trump's campaign in government. Ivanka Trump was the family member who worked hardest to help her father get elected. She chose to work as both a special advisor and her father, Donald Trump's personal helper. She even forgot to do her job as a mother and wife. She met her father at Trump Tower in 2015 when he began his run for president of the United States. She openly supported and defended him during his campaign for president and spoke out in support of him. She said she had mixed feelings about his run for president though because she loved what her father was doing as a citizen. Things were hard for his daughter though. Concerns were made about Ivanka's private life in the White House because of this comment. In January 2016, Ivanka went on to praise her father in a TV ad that played in Iowa and New Hampshire, both of which had early voting. After the early vote results came in for South Carolina, she was there with him. Ivanka Trump missed the date to change her registration to Republican in October 2015, so she could not vote in the New York primary in April 2016. Ivanka gave a speech right before her dad's speech at the 2016 Republican National Convention in July, where she presented him. She said that one of the most amazing things about Donald Trump was that he could see the best in people. She also said that her dad would make America great again. The Washington Post said that her speech showed Donald Trump in a better, kinder light than normal and that it was one of the best of the night. They also said that Ivanka was Trump's most valuable asset ever. Artist Richard Prince returned a $36,000 check he got in 2014 for a piece of art that showed Ivanka as a protest against her father a year later. A group of people in the New York art world who don't like President Trump started an Instagram account called Dear Ivanka to protest his term. Ivanka and her father went to the 2019 G20 Osaka summit in June 2019. The French government later released a video of her awkwardly joining a talk with world leaders, which got a lot of attention online. She also saw her father talk to Kim Jong-un, the leader of North Korea, inside the demilitarized zone on the Korean peninsula. She said it was a strange experience. People started to notice Ivanka and even called her her father's purse because she was always seen with him at social and political events. Ivanka continued to back her father in his political campaign, though. In 2019, she went on a world tour to support her Women's Global Development and Prosperity Initiative. She went to the 74th UN General Assembly and visited the Ivory Coast, Argentina, Ethiopia, Colombia, Morocco, and Paraguay. After that, Ivanka hosted a summit on human trafficking at the White House. There, President Trump signed an order adding a new post to his domestic policy office, whose only job was to fight human trafficking. Next, Ivanka held a meeting at the White House with Attorney General William and victims of human trafficking to announce a $35 million grant. More than $35 million in funds are being given by the Justice Department to help human trafficking victims get housing. After a few months, Ivanka joined Attorney General Bill Barr, Georgia Governor Brian Kemp, First Lady Marty Kemp, and Tim Tebow in Atlanta to reveal that $100 million would be given to fight human trafficking from grants. It's interesting that Ivanka was the one who suggested the controversial picture of President Trump holding a Bible in front of St. John's Church. For this photo chance, peaceful protesters had to be pushed out of the way violently. She walked to the spot with her dad and had the Bible in her Max Mara purse. As an endorsement for Goya Foods, Ivanka posted a picture of herself with a can of beans in July 2020. Due to the social media post, 
the owner of Goya Foods got in trouble. At the time, Ivanka was the official White House advisor. And people who worked in public office were not allowed to promote items. Some people felt sorry for the food business owner, while others thought it was wrong for Ivanka to use her political power to hurt the business of a young man who wasn't doing anything wrong. The 2021 study says that a Government Accountability Office audit found that Ivanka's program, which spent about $265 million a year, did not direct the money to projects that empowered women and did not track the spending's effects. During her time in her father's administration, her husband was made a top advisor to President Trump and Ivanka kept the business. Ethics experts in the government didn't like this and said it led to conflicts of interest. It is not possible to know the exact amount of Ivanka's outside pay while she works in her dad's office. The only thing she had to do for the Office of Government Ethics was tell them how much her assets and debts were worth. But someone who knows Ivanka and Jared well was able to guess how much money they make. In 2019, the couple made between $36.2 million and $157 million it was found. At least $29 million in 2018 and as much as $82 million in 2018. Her husband, Jared, made $1.5 million from Westminster Management, a company that owns 20,000 apartments in New York, Maryland, New Jersey, Pennsylvania, Pennsylvania, and Ohio from April 2nd, 2017 to June 2018. In December 2020, it came out that Jared and Ivanka paid $30 million for 1.8 acres of unused land on Indian Creek, a very private island in Miami that is very hard to get to. Julio Iglesias, a Latin singer, was selling it. Julio got the land in two separate deals. He owned a mansion and then, in 2008, paid $15.2 million for the land next door to make the nearly two-acre beachfront lot that you see now. Aside from celebrities like Beyonce and Jay-Z, the island is also home to NFL coach Shula, supermodel Adriana Lima, and Eddie Lampert, a billionaire hedge fund manager. Ivanka put her own money on the Trump Hotel in Washington, D.C., and made around $3.9 million. People in the public eye were sure that Ivanka and her husband joined Donald Trump's government to get rich. What do you think about this? During the riot that followed in the U.S. Capitol, Ivanka told her dad to make a video for Twitter denouncing the riots. She then acted as a go-between for the president and the officials who were being attacked. But because her dad said we love you to the attackers in the video, he was banned from the social media site. The offensive things Donald Trump said about Ivanka. People have seen the former president of the White House talking about his daughter over the years. This has made people wonder if Ivanka was just his daughter, or if there was more to their relationship than everyone knew. More and more, Ivanka Trump became her dad's right-hand woman. She went with him to public events, private meetings, conferences, and even foreign conferences. Everyone knows that Donald Trump had a wife and two kids. But why did he spend more time with his daughter than with his wife or sons, who were more likely to get active in politics? He has every reason to be proud of his daughter, Trump. Ivanka is a successful businesswoman, author, wife, and mother who went to the Ivy League and graduated. While her dad was running for office, she helped him and even presented him at the convention. People loved her because she could come up with new ideas and give strong views. This made her father's favorite child and made her popular with everyone, but she also had people who didn't like her. Still, his fatherly approval can be really embarrassing at times. At one point in 2006, Trump said, If Ivanka weren't my daughter, maybe I would be dating her. We're not sure if this comment was meant to be funny or if it was true in some way but we do know that this quote made a lot of reporters worry more about their own lives. A lot of people have called his daughter a sex object, and he has never stopped them. Howard Stern said nice things about Ivanka Trump's looks on his radio show in 2004 and 2006. He called her a piece of ass. Stern said something that Trump agreed with. So Trump didn't try to correct him. This made people wonder what was going on between Ivanka and her dad. Trump seemed like he doesn't care about women because he said mean things about them. She also said in May that she was a woman. She said, I've known my father all my life, and he has nothing but respect for women. They looked like they didn't know what to say when Wendy Williams asked them what they knew. What did Ivanka, my daughter, say? Which is it, real estate or golf? I don't understand what her dad meant when he said, well, I was going to say romance Ivanka felt bad about what she did. The way she looked made it clear. Trump later said in a Rolling Stone story, yeah, she's really something, and what a beauty that one is if I weren't happily married and you know her father maybe after that. Ivanka stood by her dad and said that he is not racist and that he was joking when he talked about her that way. She says that her family valued Christ, that they would never do something so awful. Ivanka and her stepmother Melania Trump got along great, which doesn't always happen between stepfamily members. In public, Melania said that she had a special bond with Trump's children and didn't see herself as their mom but as their best friend. That they liked each other was clear from the hugs and laughs that were seen between Ivanka and Melania. Even after Ivanka was slandered by Trump, What's the big deal about Ivanka? 
Let's talk about what Ivanka said next. His wife and kids were more important to him than Ivanka. It was no longer a secret. She became a strong political partner for him. Ivanka finally understood that she had given up her three young children's happiness so that her dad could be happy and had to make friends and spend time with her family. Dot asked Ivanka about her dad's run for president in 2024 in November 2022. She stated, I love my father very much, but this time I'm choosing to prioritize my young children and the private life we are creating as a family. In this way, she was telling them she was leaving politics to spend more time with their family. I don't want to think about politics. I'll always be there for my dad, but not when it comes to politics. Thanks for letting me serve the people of the United States. A lot of the things our government has done make me proud. In 2019, Jared Ivanka's husband was told he had thyroid cancer. He wrote in his book that he saw a doctor while Trump was president. She tried hard not to think about anything. She wasn't a good wife while her husband was in the hospital because she was taking care of her dad's business. Then, in August 2022, her husband had more surgery on his thyroid. This took place after Ivanka announced in public that she was leaving politics. She finally helped her husband through his surgery, which is what a wife should do. Star Net Worth says they made a lot of work while Trump was in office. All of them are worth around $800 million. The Trump family believes that this couple is one of the wealthiest. 